Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for stopping by my video on this very cloudy, snowy Wednesday morning. I'm going to take advantage of the downtime that I have on my day off and just paint. I've been going through a horrible art block lately, and, well, I'm going to attempt at channeling in my inner uh, Denise Love with her beautiful abstract mark making. Isoldo's design on Instagram is also a huge source of inspiration for me lately. Here on YouTube, also Bettina Fernandez and Gabriel Cormier. I'm going to be tagging and putting all of these ladies' uh, links in the description box area of this video in case you're new and don't know who those lovely artists are. Uh, I think Isoldo's design is specifically only on Instagram, though. I don't think I didn't double check to be honest if she had a presence on YouTube either way I'm gonna go ahead and try my best to uh, break this art block and this 7x10 sketchbook by Canson their XL uh, mixed media rough sketchbook it's the higher GSM paperweight 114 pounds so I'm gonna go ahead and do some what I'm calling meditative circles, stones, whatever you like to call them. Okay, let's go ahead and begin. I'm going to be using uh, just different colors here. I'm not going to concentrate on the brand. I just want to concentrate on the experience. I will say the names though. Uh, this is Naples Yellow Red with a little bit of permanent mauve. And what I like about this paper, I haven't used it in a long time, it's that because it's not cotton, it's going to give me some really nice organic lines naturally. It's just really nice. It's, it's nice to see. I haven't used this in a long time. You might hear my fur kiddos in the background. They're just doing their morning zoomies. I hope you don't mind. I like for most of them to connect. And I notice pushing down on the paper makes those marks like that. And then the area around the mark, yep. It stays dry here and then it stays wet on top. So I really like that. So, so far I'm just using this, uh, Naples reddish color and the permanent mauve that's really nice let's go ahead and bring another one wow I really like that okay let's bring another one right here barely touching there we go and then I'll just add water and even leaving the area here in the middle without the color. <laughs> oh my goodness. I have to make sure they're okay. They're just playing, but it sounds like they're tearing up the place, I tell you. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so yep. Let's go ahead and continue doing this. I'd like to bring some of this brown that I mixed on my own. Remember that video that I made? where I mixed my own convenience mixtures. This right here is a combination of, let's see, it says PB29, Permanent Orange, Matter Lake Light. So all those colors in there. But look, I hope it um, spreads out the way it does on the cotton paper. Oh, look at that, you guys. Wow. Okay, yep. Oh, so nice. I don't think I'll get anything here. And I actually like just how pretty that looks right there so i actually like that right there too all right so i'm going to go ahead and use more of this color uh, coming down maybe we can make some oh that's good let me grab a bit of the denim color the denim color is a handmade watercolor and that i will share it is from addison and sedgwick and i have been gushing about her colors for the last few weeks I purchased several greens 
and some beautiful uh, wine red colors, blackberry and sangria. Oh my goodness, they're gorgeous. Actually, sangria, I'm sorry, not sangria. Um, the blackberry color was a very, very generous gift from Carrie, who is the owner behind Addison and Sedgwick. She must have seen how many times I put that color in and out of my cart and she sent it to me and that was very very nice so you know what i'm going to go ahead and use some of this color right here that blackberry color and i will put it right here in the middle isn't that just stunning wow that's beautiful i think there's a little bit of room here for small one small one there oh that's nice okay um i want to put some of this color in here i'm not sure why this color wicks out the way that it does i use those uh, watercolors from Paul Rubens, those 5ml tubes in that video, so I'm not too sure why these colors wick out this way, but I'm, I'm not complaining. <laughs> I am not complaining. That is stunning. All right, I want to get back into the Naples yellow reddish. I mean, look at the plate. The plate itself looks like a piece of art. Maybe this is what I needed just to chill <laughs> because oh my gosh having art block is terrible okay and then I'll just swoop in right here with the denim okay and then I'll just add some of this color oh my gosh it's like a gemstone the way that right there just looks layered so pretty okay so I have my pencils my pencils well I do have my pencils do you know I own the prismas I do the whole set I own the brute funers yep I own those too <laughs> So maybe it's time to bring those out, but I do have the pens uh, for today. Oh, and I also own the Artex pencils, the first set that came out. Um, okay, so I'm going to give this a moment to just sit and chill for a bit, but um, I feel like this little guy can maybe, I can bring in some more of them. So I'll just scoop up whatever I have left here on the plate. And then I'll just, um, well, they don't all have to touch. So I'll just, oh, well, maybe some of them can even overlap. I've seen that on Isoldo's designs. She overlaps her stones. Oh my gosh, look at that, you guys. I'm sorry, that's my heater. There's nothing I can do about that. And I think this is still, yep, yeah, that's still wet. So I'll just... grab whatever I can this by the way is the Famui brush it's a sable mop brush I don't know what size it is because the brand name has long long gone but uh, that's the brush I'm using <clears throat> excuse me Oh, this is nice. Okay. Very nice. Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay. Now I'm just looking to see where I can add some more 
maybe let's see let me stand up and see I kind of feel like it's going this way maybe I can add one right here and right here yeah let's do that let's do that I'm standing up for this and uh, let's see I'm gonna go back into that blackberry color That is just fantastic and then what I'll do is I'll just drop some of that Naples British color right in the middle you know what I think that's good yep I think that's good right there all right so I'm gonna go ahead and press stop and I'm going to just look at this and see what lines I can add. I'd like to connect them and maybe do some, you know, some mark making inside, but I'm not sure. <laughs> so I'll be back. I might also do some of it in time lapsed just to keep the video under 20 minutes. We'll see. We'll see. I'll be back. Okay. Let's see how far I can get with uh, compressing a 45 minute video into a little over two minutes. So as you can see, I went right into it with the lines. I love drawing lines, connecting things with lines, adding lines within the shapes, and then finding shapes within the shapes and adding more lines. It's just something I love to do, and I look forward to pushing this. I forgot how awesome this paper is. I'm really impressed with it. I'm going to order another one because I actually like it more than I like the Canson XL watercolor paper. Um, but as you can see, I continue to add just more doodles, more lines, maybe add in a bit more of the mark making with the paint itself. I took out my Poscas. I recently purchased a set of Poscas that have the silver and gold and white uh, pens in it, and I love them. Honestly, guys, I'm a little nervous because I don't do voiceovers, but I would like to. This whole uh, watching myself paint and you know doodle and do all of this as I'm recording the voiceover I think I can get used to this I just have to learn how to speak correctly and clearly and time my breaths and just go hello con take it easy right <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep letting you guys watch me doodle adding more of those white lines the white polka dots I even added a little bit of a floral leaf design there on that top large one and I enjoyed doing that as well. Towards the end, I turned those little marks all around the rocks uh, into little mushrooms, and that actually came out really nice too. I enjoyed that. So yeah, this is, I think, just almost done. Yep, almost done here. Heat setting everything and just going in with some last minute bits and bobs and well, all in all, it was a learning experience and I can't wait to uh, continue to push this style. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, press stop, and I'll see you soon. Okay, so this is it. This is the finished piece, and I'm pretty happy with it. I even added the little stems for those marks that I made and turned them into mushrooms. I love the lines connecting the shapes and the rocks to each other. That's something I've seen in Isoldo's designs, so that's where I got that idea from. You know, thinking intuitively, just trying to come up with these marks and these doodles on your own is a lot harder than I thought. And I always thought it was easy because I see the way these ladies work their pens and they just connect all these near graphic lines and all that good stuff and I'm thinking it's a lot harder <laughs> it is a lot harder so I am learning so much from them and I appreciate them sharing their art because here I am sharing my version of what they inspired me to do well guys I hope you enjoyed the video I'm going to be making more videos like this I'm just going to continue to gain the confidence to hear my own voice in the voiceover and um yep learning how to talk correctly because sometimes i stutter and stumble over my words i will be bringing down the cell phone camera next time more 
near the paper so you guys can actually see the line work and maybe try to take footage from different angles. We'll see how this works because I promised myself that for 2024, I was going to share more and push myself out of my comfort zone. And this is definitely just that because uh, I never thought I would be into any of this. Let me just show you really quickly, a quick sneak peek. This is on the median paper. And like I said, Isoldo's design is definitely rubbing off on me. See what I mean with the scratchy lines? I love it. I'm not too sure how I feel about the polka dots though. I don't think I'm gonna be a fan of that whole, um, just the dots and the pointillism or whatever you wanna call it. But I love the rich colors, the granulating watercolors, all of that good stuff. So I'm working on this. This takes time, it really does. And I'm also, <laughs> because I work on separate pieces at the same time, uh, this is more near graphic inspired. And this is really hard. At least for me. I don't even know if this makes any sense, but I know that I love doing that and I'm going to incorporate that in my own way, in my own work. All right, so yeah, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching if you decided to and all right, I'll see you all soon and let me know what you think. Which rock meditative looking shape is your favorite? I have to say this one here is my favorite. Um, yeah, I'm thinking this one and then the little mushroom shapes along with the lines. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.